let's go over how to set up the bedroom and bathrooms for a property in Onorez. First, we'll go to the Properties tab. Then, select a property. Then, click Rooms and Accommodations. Then, click the Change button. Here we see bedrooms and bathrooms. We currently do not have either. Let's go ahead and add a bedroom. Click on the Add Bedroom button. Then, the first thing you want to do is give it a name. We'll call this Master Bedroom. Now we see Type. There are three different types. Bedroom, Studio, and Other. Bedroom is the only one that will be included in the bedroom count. This is important to note for when the bedroom and bathroom details get pushed to listing sites and your hosted website. There is also a checkbox if there is an ensuite bathroom. Below that, there is a notes box where you can write anything about that bedroom in particular. Then you will want to add what size beds are in the bedroom. We have one king bed, so we'll change the zero to a one. You can add as many as you'd like, but be sure if you delete a zero, you will have to put the zero back or add a higher number, such as one, otherwise the system will not let you save. Next you'll see a box called Bedroom Details. This covers all the bedrooms for that property. Let's go ahead and add a second bedroom. We'll call this Bedroom 2. This bedroom has one queen bed, so we'll set that, and it has one bunk bed. Now we have two bedrooms set up. Let's go ahead and set a bathroom now. Click the Add Bathroom button. We'll call this Bathroom 1. Here, under Type, you have the option of selecting Full, Half, Shower Only, or End Suite. This is a full bathroom, so we'll leave it as full. It's important to note that Full and Half are included in the bathroom count, but Shower is not. There is also a box here that you can write any notes about this bathroom in particular. Then, you'll want to check what features are in the bathroom. In our case, we have one toilet, a tub, and a shower. You can select any combination of these. Let's go ahead and add a second bathroom. We'll call this Bathroom 2. This bathroom is a half bath with a toilet. If you want to delete a bathroom, simply click Delete Bathroom. Now that we have set our bedroom and bathroom, make sure to click the Save button. Let's go ahead and see what changes were made on our hosted website. We'll go ahead and click Reload. And now we see under Size that it says two bedrooms, one bath. And if we scroll down to under Amenities, we see the details for the bathroom and the bedrooms. If we go over to a listing site such as Airbnb and click Reload, we'll now see that there are two bedrooms and one bath. It also has the total number of beds. If we scroll down, we also see the information about each bedroom and the size of the beds. Let's head back to Onorez. Let's go ahead and add a note on one of the bedrooms and see what changes are made on the hosted website. For the master bedroom, we'll write Queen Sleeper Sofa. Now we'll go ahead and click Save. Let's head back to the hosted website and click Reload. And now we see there's a small eye next to the sleeper sofa. And when you hover over it, it says the notes that you set in Onorez, Queen Sleeper Sofa. Now if we go back to Onorez and go to General Info, we'll see Sleep's Max is 8. This number comes from the beds you picked. If it's different, you can click on the Change button, then go to Sleep's Max and change this to something higher or lower, and this will override the Sleep's Max number. But we do not recommend doing this. We recommend that you fix the bed count, which will most of the time fix the sleep count. If you change the bed count or make a change to the calculation override, this will push over to any channels you have connected and your hosted website. If your sleep's count is not adding up to what it should because you have something like a sleeper sofa in the living room, which would not count as a bedroom, simply go to Rooms and Accommodations, then click Change, then we'll add a bedroom, 
but this time, instead of the type being bedroom, we'll change that to other. We'll label this living room. Then we'll put a one for sleeper sofa and click save. Now if we go back to our hosted website and scroll down, we'll see that the sleeps number has changed, but the bedrooms have not. And we see that our living room with one sleeper sofa slash futon has been added. If we go to the listing site, we'll see that the two bedrooms have not been changed, but the beds have. That is how you set the bedroom and bathrooms in Onores.